these mutants took this canyon we were shown. Hell yeah, fucking right. There aren't many paths leading to mutant valleys that are safe from the sun. We'll find them. If these roads are safe passage, why haven't they arrived yet? Perhaps desert mirages got the best of them. Wait, did you see... Oh no, just my imagination. Not a bad point, Crazy. But the road's never completely safe. Could have met some hungry, hungry beasts. And not too many people have a contingency plan for a flight of jellyfish or pack of mantas. For a successful escape, the breakout is just half the battle. The other half is diligence. It is likely that they moved slowly and decided to stop and hide at nightfall, so I am not worried. But a little help never hurt anyone. See anything, Amelia? Nope, but we're still far from that place you showed us. My baby's fast, but it doesn't know the fucking speed of light. One must muster quite a bit of courage to escape from a city, only to risk it all in the desert, defenseless while soldiers are in hot pursuit, or have already suffered greatly. I wonder how long they chase after them once they've left the cities. Most people think it's impossible to survive in the desert, so wouldn't they figure they could let the desert do their dirty work for them? I hope no one was wounded. Blood attracts creatures of all sorts, predators that'll pounce on the weak. Imagine it, Zack. Walking all those miles through hostile areas, hiding and sleeping during the day, takes courage. Once everything's been taken from you, death probably isn't a fear anymore. Rebuilding a life comes with the price of risking it. Too bad they didn't have vehicles or something to help them run. Hell, someone should build hideouts along the path to help. A place to give them food and water. A place to catch their breath, you know? day is rising. They must find a place to rest, and this cave is perfect to hide them from both the men and father's son. But this cave has... He has a bad feeling. There's danger here, from the moment he wakes to... No, we have already met and defeated danger. Overcome it together. So he must... He must stop behaving like a slave. Come! Oh. Don't be afraid. Scum sent me from Newton Valley to protect you. This isn't a good time to just hang around here. We're almost to Mutant Valley. You have our thanks, man. Call me Zachariah. Then you have our thanks, Zachariah. They... We will not forget what you have done for us. We must hurry now, though. The day is coming.
made it just in time. That toad could have done some serious damage. Ugh, I think I'm gonna hurl. But uh, this is rather quite fascinating. Did you know that the lichen on its back is not merely a parasite? Well, maybe you. Anyway, they actually have a symbiotic relationship. The lichen cools off the toad's skin, while the toad lets the lichen feed off the ooze. Well, oozing from its pores. Yeah, now I'm definitely gonna hurl. Thank the moons. We were able to save them. I don't know if they could have survived without our help. Scum will be happy to see they made it. The gates of Mutant Valley will open wide for you this day, Fred. I'm antsy to get to town. I'm getting tired of spending night after night in this rover. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to bump you up to first class, bitch ass? No. But even you have to admit, it'd be nice to go to the bathroom with the door. I'm anxious to meet Scum. He's quickly becoming a legend around these parts. Some people in Noctis talk about him like he's some kind of messiah, even though he's only just been freed from Abundance's prisons. Yes, he has lived most of his life at Camp 19, but he has shown great wisdom since his arrival. And he is quite the speaker. I think you two will get along very well. I know not a more devout advocate for peace. <laughs>